All right, let's do it. Let's see what the yep. first grade is. Hmm. Bad news, Jeff. Bad news. Tell me school about it. School year just started. I thought we were all supposed to start with A's because it's brand new school year. But um, in this case, we have an F. Mm. F for fired. Ooh. Now, this is a story out of Florida. Some of you may have heard about the six-year-old who was arrested by a school resource officer. So the Orlando school resource officer who arrested a six-year-old girl has recently been fired from the police department. The grandmother of the girl said that she received a phone call informing her that her granddaughter was being taken to a juvenile hall facility and the reason given was that the granddaughter had a temper tantrum and kicked out at an adult. And the grandmother says the granddaughter suffers from sleep apnea and that may be the reason why she was in a bad mood that day and lashed out at the adult. Also, another reason why she may have lashed out at the adult is because she is a six-year-old kid and six-year-olds, <laughs> they do that. But this school resource officer by the name of Officer Dennis Turner went ahead and arrested the girl as well as another six-year-old um, at the school that day as well. We don't have information about what that second arrest was about, but um, arresting six-year-olds, Jeff, is that what we're doing in 2019? Apparently, apparently. I, so. I mean, you know, what can I say? America, right? This yeah. is how it goes. Uh, yeah, this story is just bananas. Like I saw this, honestly, when I first right. saw this headline, it was on social media, yeah. flipping through my feed, and I saw it, and I just got this sinking feeling, and I just kept going. I was like, I'm going to have to read that another time because I don't <laughs> do have it. it. I don't have it right now right. to Can't read about a six-year-old black child getting arrested at right. school. This is crazy. So, uh, yes, the story is just as crazy as you think it is, right? right. Uh, a six-year-old. This is, you know, kindergarten, first grade, right? right. Uh, and, hey, I will even stipulate. Let's say the kid was wildly out of control, you mm -hmm. know, threatening people, whatever, right? The worst possible tantrum you can imagine. I'm not quite sure what sleep apnea has to do with that, but, you right. know, whatever. Let's just yeah. say the behavior was as bad as it could possibly be. We're talking about a six-year-old in a room of adults. Yeah. And this room of adults thought the good idea was involve the police and arrest the child. Right. And try right. to bring this child into the same criminal justice system with yeah. murderers and rapists and things. Right. Like, Get them started early. This is crazy. Completely yeah. crazy. Yeah. We talk about the school to prison pipeline and this is almost like a... Uh a fast forward, jump through the pipeline and just get to the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. Just I take mean, the six-year-old straight to jail. What's like, more direct than a pipeline? Yeah, I'm not sure. like that's just... just <laughs> They're like, beam, beam me up, Scotty. No man. pipeline, just straight to... Straight there. <laughs> do, not, yeah. do not pass go. Yeah. Um, so black students represent 15% of the total student enrollment during the 2015-2016 school year. But according to uh, Education Department's Office for Civil Rights, they make up 31% of students referred to law enforcement and in this case, a six-year-old being referred to law enforcement. Now, Jeff, when I first heard the story, for one, I wasn't surprised I was out of Florida because Florida, um, but I was surprised when I saw the officer's photo. I am mm -hmm. gonna be uh, honest here. I assumed it was a white officer who arrested this black girl and took her in. Um, and the photo, the first photo that I saw that came out showed a black officer and a white officer together, one being awarded something. And I assumed it was that white officer, um, but it was the black officer who arrested this girl, which is another reminder that when we talk about systemic racism, when we talk about something like the school to prison pipeline, um, it acts on a systemic level, not an individual level. And in this case, this uh, individual officer who has a, a host of questionable things in his past, not even questionable, just downright um, foul activity in his past and behaviors in his past, um, went ahead and fully participated in this school to prison pipeline as the um, black adult in the room. And um, this is just shameful. Yeah, hundred percent shameful, and I believe that uh, for the for the hip hop heads out there, mm -hmm. Ice Cube has uh, some interesting commentary on this issue of the behavior of black police officers. So yeah. we'll let that be for now. As does KRS One. As Check does KRS One. So uh, you know that's 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 an issue long since discussed and settled. Yeah. Um, but I will say to give a little bit of context here, because I um, mm -hmm. you know as much as I think the criticism is hundred percent warranted on this right. particular school resource officer and on this. Particular particular charter school, right. um, the policy that the officer was supposed to be bound by mm -hmm. was 
getting approval right from a supervisor in order to issue an arrest of a child under right. I believe the age of 12. Right. right? Um, now, I don't think we have any business arresting any child under the age of 12, but um, you know, I'm glad that that kind of policy is in place and at least there's yeah. some check. And this officer did not follow that policy. Right. Right. So this officer really was out of line with that. Yeah. Another officer involved realized that the policy was not uh, being followed and, right. and also intervened to prevent the uh, the sort of booking of of one of the children. So yeah. So the the story at least has like sort of a you know semi silver lining in the nah, in the cloud. The, the other six year old, the other six year old was taken in and processed. Um, the, yeah, this six year old, the the girl in this case, she yeah. was taken back by the other officer, which is great. But the uh, the other boy, at least uh, as far as the reporting goes, um, was taken all the way in. Yeah, yeah. So crazy. The the system that's broken had a check, and that check failed, <laughs> right, to further right. break the system. Right. Jeff, why do we have police officers on elementary school campuses. Not gonna lie, of all the discussion about school resource officers and the I era of know. school shootings, you know, I, I always picture school resource officers in high schools. Yeah. Like, you know, um, just I, the idea of one being at an elementary school campus, I don't know if that's specifically because of the threat of school shooters or what, but I, I don't know why you need an officer dealing with Little kids. Yeah, no, I'm. I certainly the districts that I worked closely with at the mm -hmm. elementary level. I'm not familiar of there being an officer, an armed officer stationed at schools. Right. Um, I am familiar with you know officers rotating amongst different schools. Yeah. And at the elementary level, per, you know, particularly being of resource to the school when there's issues in the community or issues with, you know, maybe gang violence or things that are right. happening around the school or yeah, even like, right. you know, two parents that are kind of going at it. Right. right? And, and they're worried about an altercation amongst the adults. I'm not very familiar with uh, the needs for the police to be policing the elementary school children. Uh, yeah. You know, that's just... Yeah. The story is as bad as you think it is, folks. <laughs> Man, what a start yeah. to the year. Yeah. Well, he's been fired. I mean, to give, um, I guess, credit where credit is due, they did not wait long. I believe he was fired within the week of yeah. that happening. So mm -hmm. um, that's actually pretty rare to hear of an officer being fired um, that soon after any kind of controversy or infraction. So, yeah, yeah. there's that. There's that. F Sil plus. Silver linings. Yeah. Yes. All right. What's the next story that we have for today's Do Now? Yeah.